The highly anticipated Didsbury Learning Commons has finally opened after months of renovation. Both the students and faculty are very excited about the new advantages the Learning Commons will give. I think more than anything it offers a repurposed uh, space for students that will be a little more conducive I think to uh, learning collaboratively uh, to also be a community space for the school that just kind of changes the old library model uh, and, and updates it in a more effective way for, for students today. Even though it is hard to move on from a traditional library, most think it is the right thing to do. You know, we've taken out 12,000 books, but we still continue to subscribe to a series of online services that give students access to the most current information. So essentially we've moved the library to the cloud, but that's still in place. The new technology in the Learning Commons is sure to bring immediate improvement to the school. Uh, you know, I've been already using uh, the virtual reality, which is so cool, you know. It's just so awesome. Um, having this at the Benjamin School is just going to give me a leg up on my academics and uh, just get me to a great college. It took a year in the making, but the Learning Commons is finally open and it is sure to be a great success. Speaking of which, one of the Learning Commons' more popular rooms is the Virtual Reality Lab. For more on the new lab, here's Alexa Tiano. With the Learning Commons open and in use, Benjamin has also introduced an exciting new addition, the Virtual Reality Lab. Technology specialist Mr. Morrow informs us about the new Virtual Reality Lab and what it brings to the Learning Commons. I like both the creative aspects of it and I like the mechanical and STEM aspects of it, the, the uh, goal-based learning, and it's just uh, a new way to do something to be a little bit more excited about what you're learning. Uh, these belong to the students, they're for them, they'll have things that the teachers will guide them on, but they are welcome to come in, sign in with their own school uh, username and password, and go to work. An active user of virtual reality programming Mr. Blount gives us insight what it contains and how people will use this new technology. I, I think one of the strongest benefits of it is the fact of being able to get that 3D visualization for people. And what's nice about the augmented reality is it allows computers to have more um, impact in say the sciences or the history class and stuff like that because it brings it, again, it brings the page to life. Um, so I think that's probably one of my favorite things is Student Alexandra Denholtz tells us what she likes about the new edition. There's so many different diagrams that are really useful for different classes. I was using it in AP Biology and we were looking at different types of cells and it was really helpful to be able to visualize uh, really well what's happening in the different structures in the cell. We're excited to see how the virtual reality lab continues to be useful to students and faculty. Reporting for BTV News Channel 3, I'm Alexa Tiano.